Hey guys, Plays with Trucks here coming at you from Trucks Customs Garage. Um, I think this is a first for me. I'm going to do a kit review on a new kit. Um, hadn't seen this out there yet, but I was able to stop into my local Hobby Lobby today and pick this up. So this is the um, the new Ravel Foose Ford FD100. Just so you know, this is going to be a one-shot wonder. We're going to go at it, so if I mess up, I mess up. If I don't, I don't. If I kick the tripod, then I kick the tripod. Uh, sorry about that. So we're going to open this up and see what it looks like inside. Um, just picked this up today um, at my local Hobby Lobby. They got their truck in yesterday. I thought about running by there yesterday, but I'm like, nah, too pressed for time. Um, so I ran in there today after work, and guess what? They had it. So I know that old Kel Gaither's already got him on a couple of these, actually, and he's already built one and everything. But let's let's break this thing open and see what's in it. And um, just uh, take the first whiff of styrene. So this is $26.99, and of course um, I don't buy a kit at Hobby Lobby unless I use the 40% uh, off coupon. So I got this for just under $18, I think it was, once you get your tax and everything. So here's the kit. Take a, take a look around the box. You know, it's got the paint guide and the basic information, of course the the visual on the side, the chip foos drawing, the ages, the level, all that stuff, how long it's going to take, you know, what's necessary, glue, paint, all that good stuff. And over here we got some pictures of the built model. So there's some of those there, three of those there, length, 78 parts. There's not a whole lot of pieces in this uh, compared to some, but this is the new level system that Ravel has. It used to be a one through three, but of course most of us know that it's a one through five now and five being the hardest, one being the easiest. The first three, I think, are snap tots, just about, um, you know, with different varying levels. So let's break into this sucker. Of course, the box art's just awesome. I mean, I love that Foos picture there, so it's great. And there it went, so let's pull it out. Okay, so here's what we got. Um, we got the, uh, the body. And I'd already talked to Kel, and Kel told me that this was all one piece. So as you can see, the the old 55 is a, let's see, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it was seven pieces for the old 55. Um, this is one minus the bottom end, which looks pretty cool. I think it's got a lot of promise, so it should be able to um, be easier to put those bed kits and, and stuff in here. Uh, and then, of course, here's the... Um, cab from the front fenders and this is chopped it's got some nice holes in there and those are some pretty deep holes not sure what those are for unless it's oh I bet it's got a top that goes over it with the um, visor so that's that you can see those holes there so so that's what we got there Maybe the gas inlet on this side, I'm not super familiar. The glass, it's nice and clean. Uh, front and back windows and some headlights probably there. Front and back window. Got four rubber tires here. So there's our four rubber tires. Nice and soft so you can see that they're pliable. So those ought to go on pretty good. We got our chrome here. It's a nice, nice chrome package with the mag wheels. And then, of course, the bumpers, front and rear grill, uh, gas cap, rear view mirror, maybe those are side mirrors or something, oh, door, door handles, door handles there, so let's see what else we got in here, a couple axles, so got the axles in there, nice instruction sheet, so open it up, and here's a, a decal sheet, so the bed is a decal here, Nice decal of the design. Um, some other varying decals here. Foose and Roush. I'm sure that's for the intake. It's got a Roush motor speedometer. So a very nice decal sheet here. That Actually, for a decal, that looks pretty good. I don't know how well you can see that, but I uh, got a nice big glare on there from those lights. I got a couple overhead LED day, daylight bulbs in it, so um, you know, got some glare from that. But that's, that's not a bad-looking 
in person. Of course, the bed kits are much nicer nowadays. So we got full, you know, full detail, full instructions. So yeah, there is a cap that goes on the top. There, I thought there might be when I first saw that. I was thinking those are a little bit weird there. So I can go back in there. Then of course we got some varying parts in here. Let's see. That pin won't open this bag, will it? So let's see what we got in here. I think I need to replace that exacto blade. It's pretty dull. That's actually the one I used to score the panel lines with, so just put it there so it's not a new blade. It's got a dull tip and you can see it's probably got some rust on it and everything. So here we go. We got the interior and the seats, the interior floor pan. Um, looks like it's got the brake and gas in there. Um, already molded into the pan. And then we got door panels with some pretty nice looking detail on the speakers. Very nice detail on these door panels here. Uh, looks like this is the driver's side and you got a couple power window, the handle, some speakers again, steering wheel, steering column, the dash, which is a nice looking dash. Uh, here we got the rear brake lights molded in red. So here's the bed and the side rails. Step for the side like that right there. Of course you got the nice hood and this hood was chopped on his. It's got a much lower profile than the the normal 5556 profile is. And they just cut that down. So that's a very nice hood we got going there. Then just some other miscellaneous parts that are going on. The chassis. Suspension or drive. There's the engine. So the block we got here and intake and fans, radiator, oil pan, valve covers. Um, so it looks like you paint everything here. Here's your air so it's, it's really nice here. So disc brakes on the rotors, which is nice. That's nice touch as well. Belts, the heads over here, the exhaust, dual exhaust. So some headers. So that's very nice. I think that's a very nice touch. We've got some good detail in it. Uh, and then lastly, let's see the last one here we got. Here's the cap piece there. So I guess that just goes right on just like that right there it does. And that looks like it molds in there real nice. So you could really, I guess, paint those separate there and then put them together if you wanted to. Um, I think talking to Kel, he might have put his together and painted it, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. So two-piece rear differential and axle. Um, it's a lot different than the 55 kit. So firewall. So that looks good. I mean, I think that looks good. Nice kit. Coilover shocks here. So it's a nice looking kit. So I'm glad I got me one. Um, I've got a bunch of projects going on right now. So you probably won't see me start this one real soon. I know there's a bunch of them out there already going. Uh, a lot of people in the community have already picked these up. So I, I would suggest picking, up, picking them up if you want to. Um, I'm sure these are going to be around for a while. I doubt these are fly by night kit they're you know they're going to be in the market for a while so if you don't get one of the first shipments that's out there i know tower hobbies has these in stock as well um model roundup did not have them as of when i checked earlier today they were still pre-ordering and saying early june i think is what they were saying which today's june 1st so so early june could be you know today they could be putting them in stock tomorrow or or anything along those lines all right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for this. Um, just wanted to give you guys a first look on this. Very nice. Now, on the 55, they have the vents over here. Those are not on this, which is pretty cool. Um, so you don't have to work around those um, one way or another. Fill them in if you want it smoothed out or you open them up. So that, that there's, there are some cool differences between this. It's an all-new tooling. It's got the foose in the tailgate right there. So that's pretty neat raised up. You can detail that. So that's it, guys. This is James. AKA Plays With Trucks, just hanging out here in the Trucks Customs Garage, checking out the new uh, Ravel Foose Kit, and I uh, hope you guys pick them up. Looking forward to watching you guys build these and seeing what all turns out. Um, you guys have a great one. Bye.